So now, if you wanna earn passive income selling digital products, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is choose a niche and grow a following around that niche. So ask yourself, what are some things you're good at? What are some things you like helping other people with? What are some things that you like researching, learning about, and talking about for a long period of time? Make a list of those things and then just choose a niche. Your niche is most likely going to evolve over time, so don't feel like you gotta get this right or get this perfect when you're just starting out. In fact, that's one of the things that holds a lot of people back. So for now, just choose a niche and start growing your following. Now there's a lot of platforms that you can choose to start growing your following on, but my personal favorite is YouTube. And by the way, I have a lot of other videos about how to grow on YouTube on this channel. So if you wanna choose YouTube to grow your YouTube channel, make sure you check out those videos next. Now, in addition to growing your social media following online, the second thing you're gonna wanna do is start growing your email list. Email marketing is 40 times more effective at making sales than social media alone. Email marketing is where I make the majority of my sales. And that's where the passive income comes in because with emails, you're able to schedule and automate weeks and even months of emails. And this frees up time for you to create more content and send people into your email funnel. And your email funnel does all the selling passively for you. Okay, so tip number two is, once you have your following and your email list, the second thing you're gonna to wanna to do is send out a survey to your following asking them what their biggest problems are, what pain points they are having. And from that info, you're gonna align that with whatever you know how to teach very good. And from there, with that info, you'll be able to come up with a digital product that you can create that people are gonna actually buy. And the reason that we know that they're gonna buy it is because you surveyed them. And because you surveyed them, you know you're not just creating a digital product that you think people will buy. You're creating what people are saying that they need help with and what they're actually going to pay for. This is huge because I see people all the time just saying, I want to help teach this. I want to teach that. And that's great. And growing a business does give you that freedom. But in the beginning, you really need to focus on your following, helping your following, figuring out what their problems and their struggles are and how you can help them overcome all of those problems. Then in time, that is what's gonna give you that money to earn you that freedom that you want. But especially in the beginning, if you start out only focusing on what's in it for you, then your road to success is gonna be very, very difficult. It's almost impossible to grow a business that's centered around how it's going to help you. You need to think about how you're going to help others in your business. So once you surveyed your list and figured out what's the most painful problem they're having, you're going to want to take that information and teach it in the form of a digital product. Now, there are a lot of different digital products out there. You're going to want to look at the ones that might be the best fit for you. So for me, one of the things I did was created a membership for the affiliate income network system because I knew the information was going to need to be updated often especially things that people are going to want to learn for years and years to come. For example, YouTube. With YouTube, you don't just grow to a thousand subscribers and be like, I'm done. YouTube is something that you're going to want to learn and grow continuously. So I thought something like that would be best taught inside of a membership versus something like a course where you could just start here and in here and then you're done. You take the course and then you're done taking the course. You've learned what you needed to learn. And then of course there's eBooks, workshops, challenges, audio files and templates. There are so many different digital products that you can choose from. So you just really need to look at the solution that you're providing and then look at which digital product is going to be the best vehicle for you to deliver that engaging message. Just make sure that you get your ideal client the results. Then of course, you're going to want to actually create the digital product. So if you're doing something like templates, you can use Canva and do some share templates. If you're doing an audio file, you can store it and save it in the Google Drive folder. If you're doing a course, you can record all the videos and assets and put them in system.io. That's the software I use to create funnels and to host my courses. If you'd like to check it out, there's a link to create your free account down below this video. If you're doing a membership, then all you got to do is create the assets and store them all into a software or platform like school. Another platform you can do this is something called Discord. 
I've tried both of them, but right now Discord seems to be my favorite. But when you're done, the next step you're going to want to do is actually launch your digital product. And this is where it's also handy to already have that email list, so don't skip that step. You are going to make the most money from your email list. Not to mention, if your social media account gets shut down, you still have access to your email list. So launching a digital product for the very first time should be as easy as simply writing and scheduling some emails to your email list. This is what I would highly recommend. And then, of course, creating a checkout page, which is something where people are going to go to, put in their payment information, pay for the product, and then the product is automatically delivered to the email address they provided at checkout. Again, for that, I use system.io and sometimes Aweber. Whichever one you like is up to you. If you want to check out the ones I'm using, I'll leave a link for you to check them out for free down in the YouTube description.